over the floor, we have the chair of our jury, who is Per Neyman Anderson, advisor to senior management at the European Central Bank. Per, hello. Thank you very much for joining us. Tell me a bit about how the voting process went. Hello, Jennifer, and good to see you. And um, thank you very much as well, Jennifer, for being such a wonderful moderator over the last three days. It's been very enjoyable. And um, I would like also to start to thank the finalists who have all worked so hard. And remember that the nine finalists, they have been selected among 96 applicants coming from 33 countries in Europe and beyond. So it's been wonderful to review all these. And all nine finalists, they should be considered as winners in themselves. Well, absolutely. I can't imagine the difficulty to whittle it down. It's a really tough challenge. It must have taken really quite a long while to do it. And I know that your jury is made up of so many experts in their own areas giving up their time. Indeed, indeed, Jennifer. And also, we have had such a wide wide diversity of apps and there's been a lot of innovation so it has been super challenge challenging for the jury um, though we have come to the results of the um, of the eu data on 2021 but before to, before going to this i would also like to thank all the eu data at on par partners and in particular also the speakers over the last three days. It has been very insightful to know the paramount amount of digital data and visual activities undertaken in Europe and the importance of supporting the European data strategy and build collaborations among public and private partners across the European Union. Well, it's great. And the EU Datathon does just seem to go from strength to strength every year. And every year I'm more impressed by the apps. And it seems now we're getting even more attention from those EU institutions because decision making, policy driven with the access to data visualization has become a real central part of the, uh, the European Commission's aim is in particular to have a really fact based policy making. Indeed, indeed, fact-based policy making based on facts and uh, open data that is will be shared and available. So, indeed, Jennifer. Well, Per, I'm going to step aside now and give you the floor to announce the winners and the prizes. So, take it away. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Right, right. I, I, I just want also, in, very lastly, to also thank the hard work done by the excellent EU data some team from the European Publication Office for organizing and making this happen for all of us. And together with my 18 jury members, I, I would also like to appreciate uh, their prudentness and objectivity in applying our selection criteria and collaboration in selecting the winning teams, which in all three competitions um, has been challenging, as you also said, uh, Jennifer, um, but we have come in our close calls for the at least the second and third choices. So our choices is based on our three main criteria relating to relevance, open data reuse and fit for purpose. And then, of course, to thank all the citizens of Europe who have taken part in these three days and for their active contribution to visit our virtual stands and for voting for the Public Choice Award, which results I shall reveal later in the ceremony. So we have three competitions and prices of a total value of 99,000 euros. So the prizes are kindly funded by the ESA program of the European Commission, a program supporting the development of digital solutions and the program has now evolved into becoming the interoperability of Europe. And this is vital to understand the difference because it's there about the possibility of sharing digital data across Europe, providing access cross border and cross sector in the Euro area. So sharing the operability of near real time data for the collective benefits of citizens. So it's part of our vision of an EU borderless digital data community in line with the EU data strategy. So digital data matters, open data matters, 
interoperability of public and private data matters. And this is becoming even more vital when we're moving from using macro level data to managing micro level data. So let's create an EU borderless digital data area for the collective benefits of people. Now, for each of the three challenges, we have 33,000 euros in prices, which will be distributed as follows. The third place team will obtain 5,000 euros. The second place team will obtain 10,000 euros. And the winning team of each challenge obtains the nominal value of 18,000 euros. So, are you ready? Here are the votes of the jury. Luxembourg, 12 points. No, let's go to the challenge one. Challenge one, a European Green Deal. Third place of the European Green Deal challenge goes to team Frog2G from Montenegro. Congratulations. The second place goes to team Clean Spot from Spain. Congratulations. And first place goes to Carbons from India. Congratulations to the team of Carbons. <laughs> So, Carburns, Team Carburns, would you like to say a few words? Please go uh, ahead. <laughs> yes. First of all, we weren't expecting that. Uh, we saw all the presentations and they were so great. And it was a tough competition. Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's quite overwhelming, actually. <laughs> yeah, I would second that. Yeah. But uh, it has been quite a journey. We learned a lot from this project. So we explore new skills. Uh, our um, our uh, approach was from scratch. So we had to build everything from scratch. Um, so yeah, it was it was quite a journey and we did learn a lot. So it has been amazing. Thank you very much. And thank you and congratulations again with your 18,000 euros. And again, congratulations to all the three teams that are also winners for the second and third place. So let's move on to the second challenge. The second challenge is an economy that works for people. And we have the same structure and the same price award. So let me just jump into it. And the third place goes to CityScale from Ukraine. Congratulations. And second place, second place goes to Power to Youth from Portugal. Congratulations. And 18,000 euros for the first place for an economy that works for people goes to Ita Idea. Congratulations. <laughs> for the app of a portal facilitating women's mobility in Europe. So, is there a female team member who wants to say something? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your support. Um, we hope that our work will make uh, an impact in supporting the mobility of our wonder, wonder women. And uh, we can start uh, to, 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 to collaborate with uh, new companies, new universities, other partners to make the platform every day more useful and accessible. Uh, it's just the beginning. Thank you. Thank you very much. So congratulations with the all three finalists and of course also to the first place. So we move forward with the last challenge, challenge three, a Europe fit for the digital age. And for the, the Europe fit for digital age, third place goes to Visma 360 from Italy. And second place, second place goes to Democracy Games from Greece. Congratulations. 
And first place, obtaining 18,000 euros, goes to Track My EU from Italy and France by Explore EU Policies, Track Your Interest and Make Your Voice Heard in Brussels. So congratulations to Track My EU and you have the floor. Thank you so much. It's been great participating to this data tour and we are very happy about this result. It's been uh, such a great journey creating this project and we are looking forward to continuing our work on it. Yes, thank you very much. This has really been an absolutely great adventure and uh, we really look forward to keep working on the app. We have lots of ideas for 2022. Uh, and I say to everyone listening in today, you can start using it now. Stay tuned on our Twitter site. And also congratulations to all the, uh, the team that organized the Datatron this year. It's been absolutely amazing. Thanks a lot. It's great. Thanks. <laughs> Excellent. And congratulations to all three teams in the Challenge 3 and to Track My EU. So, Jennifer, would you like us to continue and move on? I am really excited, and in particularly for the Public Choice Awards. Absolutely, Per. Congratulations from me as well to all those winners. Although, as you said, all of those nine shortlisted finalists really, really deserve a big round of applause as well. But yes, the Public Choice Award is what we're going to talk about next. Uh, the jury use their expert opinion, but you know, popularity matters as well. So let's see how the public voted. It's over to you to make that big announcement. Indeed, indeed, Jennifer. And it's super exciting. There's been so many people who has participated in the voting. And of course, the jury has to step aside and let the people speak because they are the one who are the decision makers for who shall be the next winners of the EU data thon 2021 and I will start with the three best selected by the public winner awards with the third place and here you go third place are you all ready the choice of our engaged citizens gives third place to frog to go from Montenegro So this is, of course, much more prestigious to win the public uh, award than from the jury. And the public have also spoken for the second place. And the second place goes to Clean Spot from Spain. Congratulations. And now the applications which has received by far the most votes of the citizens of Europe as part of the EU data at Lund 2021. First place goes to Ita Idea. So Ita Idea, would you like again to step in? And wow. since, it's, since it's again an app for females and you are three team members we were wondering why our female team member is not speaking Thank you so much for this uh, amazing journey so far, but it's just the beginning, so we need to move forward to make a real impact for the next few, say, months or here. Thank you so much. Thank Indeed, you. and I'm so happy as well that despite the jury, there is a kind of similarities with the public vote, so Congratulations to Ita Idea and to Clean Spot and to Frog to G from Montenegro for your wonderful contributions. And thank you all for the citizens who have voted in this participation. So congratulations to the all three winners of the public award. Thank you all, wishing you all a peaceful and joyful end of 2021 and stay healthy. And now I give the floor back to Jennifer. Jennifer. Yours. 